How to strobing. Alright guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Make sure to subscribe for more videos. And um, this look, I did post it up on my Instagram and you guys wanted to see it. So if you want to see my crazy self and my Instagram, go ahead and follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. And this look is all about glow, glow, glow. Because I don't know, when I do my makeup, I just focus on that glow. Like I get excited because I know my glow is going to be on 100. So I'm going to start this makeup look by applying baby skin. And it's the instant pore eraser. So it basically erases your pores. Um, it explains for itself. And I'm going to be using my N8 slash cappuccino it doesn't really look like cappuccino i don't know i don't drink cappuccino but it's my foundation color and it's the loyal true match and i'm using a powder brush from elf because of its flat surface it's better to apply foundation with anyways i'm gonna be going down my nose with the nc42 studio finish with a angled brush this is my um eyebrows angle brush and it's smaller so it's easier to apply with and i'm gonna be going down my nose on top of my lips and my chin and i'm gonna use my fingers to apply it because i feel like my fingers are my best tools you know 10 piece brush all right now i'm gonna be using my fingers because i feel like my fingers help me blend in my concealer a little better and um the brush usually leaves streaks for me and it helps you warm up the product into your skin better so just use your fingers and it's cheap it's literally on your hands that was a corny joke but it's okay because i'm allowed to do corny jokes And now to contour my nose, I'm going to be using the Coco from the LA Girl Pro, well it's not a Pro Concealer, but I'm so used to saying MAC Pro Concealer, but it's a LA Girl Concealer in the color Coco, and I'm going to be using my contour brush from e.l.f. to go on the outside of my nose where I had concealed it previously. And I'm going to go ahead and go inside the T-zone of my eyebrows also. And I'm going to also do the same thing for the surrounding my face. When you are strobing, you don't really have to focus on contouring. So just make sure you um, make the surrounding of your face a little bit darker than usual. But that's about it when it comes to strobing. Now I'm going to be using my contour brush from Real Techniques. And I'm going to be using my CoverGirl Q425 powder to set that in as I'm blending it, blending it out. Woo, my accent is like... Oh, I can't. I'm gonna be doing the same thing for my nose, same thing with the powder and making sure that I blend everything in. I'm gonna go back in with my concealer a little bit just in case I moved it when I was contouring well bronzing. And now I'm gonna set my concealer and let it cook. Also, you always wanna set your concealer because you don't want it to move or budge. And I'm using the Benai Banana Powder and also the blush brush from e.l.f. It's a blush brush, but it feels like a tapered taper brush, so I like it better. And while I bake, I'm gonna go ahead and go back in my contouring or bronzing, I would say, because it's not really sharp and precise. And um, go around my face with the powder again. And I'm gonna go ahead with the powder around my nose also to have a sharper nose look. And that's about it. And now I'm gonna blend out this powder that I had on, the banana powder. And I wanna pat it. So now to keep my face bronzy and suck it in my cheeks like I'm getting mm, surgery, I'm joking. I'm going to be using the Raisin by MAC and it's a really beautiful, warm, berry look and I love it. And to start my highlighting process, I'm going to be going in with Bella Sand in my inner tear duct. It's a, Mil it's a Milani single eyeshadow piece. You can get it at Walmart, Target basically any drugstore store and it was $3.99 I love it and it's very pigmented and now to highlight 
I want to cry because look at this. Sorry, I'm really dramatic. But anyways, I'm going to be using the gold deposit to highlight this um, highlight is by MAC. And I love it because it has this really nice dewy sun gold look to it. And it's really great for highlighting and strobing everything highlights. And now I'm going to be going in on top of my nose, my lips, and my chin, and basically your whole face if you want to because the glow is real. Now I'm going to be applying a lip liner so that my lipstick does not budge. And you could use any dark brown lip liner if you want to. It doesn't have to be anything in particular. I like to use one that's matte and dry because it sticks to my lips a little bit better. I'm gonna go in with and now I'm gonna be using spiked by um, rum and this one is from the wet and wild collection you could get that also at the beauty supply store and I'm gonna be applying it to my lips I chose this lip because I felt like it blended in with this look I didn't choose it for any reason particular so it was just a choice with also Sandstorm and it's also from the Wet n Wild collection and it's almost the same color and I'm using that lighter. as a second lip color but like I said it's pretty close See, to the lip color and now I'm gonna be blending in my lips make sure you rub that in real good and that's about it but I do love giving you guys these looks every day so make sure to keep watching for more videos and bye peace and always remember to stay beat. Bye guys. And once again, I want to apologize for my corny jokes or my corny ways, but make sure to subscribe for more videos and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye and thank you for watching and subscribing guys.